Lim's here and as you can see I'm probably not in 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 London or not embarking at the moment I'm actually in a different part of the world and you can see I've got on my sunglasses so that would tell me I'm probably not in England and I wear my sunglasses because I'm somewhere in the sun okay as you can see I'm somewhere near the beach and you can see the waves are coming in okay any ideas do you have any ideas any ideas where I could be I can't hear you I can't hear you no no that's not it that's not it I'm not in Australia good guess though a good guess it does look a bit like Australia I'm actually in Africa and that's the sign Africa and I'm in south so we go south which is down South Africa okay I'm in South Africa and I'm in a place called Durban a city and it's called Durban and that's the sign Durban in South Africa now this is our very first um, Eastbury our Eastbury global you know project that we're doing and I'm going to be showing you different things about South Africa and about Durban in particular in this city because it's a very special city and you're going to learn about the food you're going to be learning about some of the birds about some of the animals some of the sports I'm going to show you some different um, schools and some different sign language okay and you might even meet some deaf people okay who are from South Africa okay. so yeah we're going to be going on a little journey a little tour around Durban together and you're going to be learning and then you can write a project about the things that you've learned and do some more research as well on the internet okay so welcome welcome to South Africa and this is your first sign you need to know everybody does that deaf people do that and it's an I that's the letter I that's the letter L and that's the letter Y put them all together and it says I love you and it's not I love you as in like boyfriend girlfriend or you know mums and dads or anything it's just like hey that's cool I love you that's cool man okay so there's your first sign like my little finger keeps sticking out it should, it should that's it okay welcome to South Africa Friendly, but you don't touch them. You should never actually touch them, or you should never actually feed them monkeys. Okay, because they are wild animals and they can bite. But you might want to look up vervet monkeys, and yeah, these are all over Durban, and there are lots of monkeys in South Africa. birds that I was telling you about. Here yeah, they cry. That's them. They're up on top of that pole like that. Okay, this is Miss Williams here again and I'm in Durban and I have some, I'm having my dinner and this is tr uh, a traditional um, Durban food from South Africa, South African food, and I'm going to show you. This is it, okay? And it's called, and its name, its name is called Bunny Chow, Bunny like B U, B U N N Y Chow, C H O W, okay? And Bunny Chow is not made from bunnies, okay? It's not made from rabbits at all. It's because it's in a bun. Like you can see it's in like a bread, a loaf of bread. And in it, they take out the middle, they take out the middle, and in it they put, um, it's Indian. So it has like a curry. And this one has chicken, it's Cornish chicken. And um, you can get lamb. And they take it out and then they put the, the curry in the middle. And on the top, I've got some, uh, you, you can see, they give you a little thing like this. And it's got like spicy carrots and and vegetables inside put those on top and in the curry it's got like potato 
and chicken and oh it's all really yum and you don't even need a fork I'm using a fork but you can in the old days they used to use it with their hands the workers used to have this bunny chow and it was and they'd use it and they eat the bowl so you eat the bread okay you eat the loaf or the bun okay hence bunny chow um, you can eat the bun with all the yummy uh, you know uh, it's a curry it is a little bit spicy it's a little bit spicy so I've got like a can of coke not traditional but to to help me okay so this is your traditional South African food only found here in Durban um, and it's called bunny chow okay yeah the word bunny chow I found out some people say it's because it's in a bun you know like like this and that's how you eat it that's why it's called bunny chow Mm -mm 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 -mm. but some people also said it's from a part of India okay that um, a special part of India because a lot of Indian people came to Durban um, and there's a lot of Indian people here because they came over as workers on a special scheme so <clears throat> this is um, and, uh, and another man who you might want to research a um, famous man Mahatma Gandhi he also came from India here and did lots of work helping people okay and being very peaceful and learning how to how for people to get along because sometimes in South Africa a lot of people didn't get along okay and the and and they had a thing called apartheid where only people who were African or black went to this school and only people who were white like European like this went to this school and people who were Indian or people they called them colored they only went to this school and so they were all very separate and people didn't like that and that caused lots of fighting and so <clears throat> lots of very special people from South Africa two men one came over from India called Mahatma Gandhi and he was very good at making sure everyone got along and were friends and another man who died last year called Nelson Mandela and he also was a president here and he helped make everyone friends again okay and and for people to get along so they weren't separate and everyone was inclusive and together so you might want to do some research on those two very famous people Mahatma Gandhi who used to have bunny chow apparently from India with well, his food came from India and came over with the Indian people to Durban but also Nelson Mandela so you can do some research on those two very very famous um, people Nelson Mandela was South African, he's a black South African. Mahatma Gandhi was not South African, he's from India, but he did come and live and work here for quite a while. Okay, and they're both very famous, peaceful people who helped um, helped bring, you know, bring people together in a really nice way. So you might want to research that. Okay, thank you. Okay, so this is a different house in South Africa, in Africa, they have different houses and this is a house, it's, uh, it's called Zulu, it's a traditional Zulu house, so you can see uh, it's got a different hat, the hat, the thatch, the thatch roof and they've got paintings around the outside, so that's some of the different houses that they have in South Africa.